the secret pre-trib rapture. Why so popular? While researching the teachings on our meeting the Lord in the air, or as it's commonly called, the rapture of the church, the question arose as to why a secret rapture before the tribulation period is so popular and commonly taught in churches today, since it's not what is actually described in scripture. See some of my other posts on this topic for more details on why the rapture comes at the end of the tribulation period and not before. I found several writers discussing the origin of the teaching. While some would claim it has always been taught, most would agree that it became popular in the early 19th century. Most mentioned is John Nelson Darby, usually listed as just Darby or J. N. Darby, as one of the early promoters of the doctrine. As early as 1827, he began formulating a dispensation view of God's dealing with man, dividing the church age from the nation of Israel. Other details, and why I do not accept the dispensational teaching, will have to wait for another post. Today, I am just sharing a very short abbreviated history of the secret rapture teaching that has been commonly taught and retaught for the last 150 plus years. Namely, that Darby taught this in the Brethren Church and at many other Bible conferences in England and later made at least six speaking trips to the United States between 1859 and 1874. It was well received by those who saw the prophecy and revelation as future events yet to occur, as many others at the time have been teaching them as historical and all having occurred in the past. The futurist view is more accurate than the historical view, but the rapture still occurs at the end upon the return of Christ to rule and reign, and not before the tribulation period begins. One of the early promoters in the Americas of the dispensational view and secret pre-tribulation rapture was C.I. Schofield. His popular study Bible included this teaching. Lewis Berry Schaefer included the teaching in his Bible study guides and was a founder with his brother Roland of the Dallas Theological Seminary in 1924. Where many others were taught this doctrine, after Schaefer's passing in 1952, John F. Walward became president of the school and a more modern promoter of the secret rapture theory, writing several books on the subject. This is just a quick highlight of a few of the key promoters of the teaching. If you do an in-depth study, you'll find many writers and preachers that have promoted this over the years. And if you look a little closer, you'll find many who have written and taught against it. One of the best books on the subject as a whole would be The Blessed Hope, a biblical study of the second advent and the rapture by George Eldon Ladd. He writes in a clear manner and discusses all the key scripture passages while quoting and refuting with those that have an opposing view, all in a gracious manner. I'd like to close with one of the key Bible passages on the subject of the rapture. 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 53. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of the eye, at the last trump. For the trump will sound, and the dead will rise, imperishable, and we will be changed. For this imperishable must put on imperishable, this mortal must put on immortality. Amen.